Hi guys, Toby here with a new video and this video I want to talk about Battleground Blitz aka Solo QRBG aka well it's not here so we have a problem here where I feel like the hype of Solo QRBG is dwindling down unfortunately and I want to take a bit of my time to discuss about it because I am one of the uh, content creators I would say that is kind of happy for Soul QRBG to be here and kind of sad that they're not really pulling the trigger on it um, it feels again a missed opportunity of actually putting it in season 3 now uh, the longer we are waiting on pulling the lever to actually start talking about Solo QRBG, start to uh, make blue, blue posts about what they think about Solo QRBG, because it was one of the biggest things going into PvP for Season 3, uh, the Brawl Battleground Blitz being available every single week, till probably patch 10.2.5, or even further down the line to maybe the next season, if there is a next season. Normally, there should be a next season with, like, um, the Fated Raids, but what's up with PvP? Are we going to actually say, look, this season will be the test for ranked play for Battleground Blitz? Um, let's talk about the goods and the bads really quickly. I think the goods are that it's actually a very fun game mode. I think there is some skill, some skill expression that can be made. Uh, yes, sometimes it is again team dependent, where you could be the best player in your team and still lose, and you could like carry the game however you want. But again, if your teammates are not going to help you, you're going to lose. But I would say that a lot of like games and a lot of competitive games fall in that category of better team wins, pretty much. Um, and it's it's good to have like something like this. I think objective gameplay is always going to be more appealing for the broader uh, public. I would say a lot of PVEers just despise arenas and could really love a solo QRBG environment where they could just like hit play and play for rewards and play for a competitive drive of PvP without the hassle of going for LFG for 2v2 or 3v3 or even RBGs or uh, the stress that could bring Solo Shuffle with the toxicity behind it. Um, again, I think Solo Shuffle itself and the players itself are not really toxic. I think toxicity kind of comes and breeds because of like things that are very frustrating. And I think that it just is how it is in the PvP landscape. Every single PvP game has that uh, unfriendly feel where if you're doing poorly you're going to be judged because of that i think it just is inherently i don't think it's toxic i think it's just a competitive drive that is very hard to express without being um aggressive or without being like criticizing the other the the, the players in general but that's a whole other topic right but i think pveers would like enjoy battleground blitz like solo qrbg way more than let's say solo shuffle because it is less stressful you're not like one of the three guys that can just die and then have the round like completely lost in solo shuffle like in solo qrbg if you're dying you can just go back and try to win the game to go for the objectives so I think that's a positive. I think also it's very easy access. You could do a queue with a healer. Uh, I think in general you could have a lot of fun with the solo QRBG with also the competitive drive behind it that can actually push for rewards if you want to or push for like personal rating. Now the, the bad things about solo QRBG is currently it is just a brawl. It is literally just here filling air and even though I always try to talk about Tokyo RBG and say, look, this is the best way to farm Conquest without affecting your rating. I just see always this, the same people go with green gear into Soul Shuffle. I, I tell them, look, you're going in green gear, you're going to affect your MMR. Then like get pretty much like um, talk back, like said, like, what should I do? Then I say Battleground Blitz and then they just laugh. So I think... It being a brawl for like a very long time just affects the popularity of Soul QRBG. I think having no one discuss about it, having no one from the Blizzard side actually say, look, Battleground Blitz has been up for one month. We have gathered this 
like stats. Uh, we're going to change those things. Expect a new build on 10.2.5 with those changes, with some rating, uh, uh, some rating, and whenever you're going on the tab for rated, for example, you're going to see solo QRBGs, or th these are going to be probably smaller, or this will, it will be bigger. But uh, you will have solo QRBG, and you have a rating. It will be grayed out, for example, because it will not be rated for until season four but at least you have like something visually so you can see okay i am 500 mmr or i'm 1.5k mmr or i'm 1.8k mmr or i'm 2k mmr something visual so people can actually relate a bit better right because right now if you're queuing for so qrbg you, you see your mmr at the end of the match but let's be honest People are going to skip it, most likely, but also people don't care because it's not something you can show to anybody, right? It's uh, it's hidden. So even with friends, you, you cannot say, look, with Battleground Blitz, I want 30 and, 30 and 5, for example. I have 2k MMR. Uh, I'm actually enjoying the game mode. I'm progressing with my personal rating. You cannot show that to anyone. So the hype behind Battleground Blitz is just solely there for the promise that could be there in the future. But again, how much do we want to hype for the future instead of like trying to make something for the present uh, again an explanation is uh, everyone is talking about riot mmo for example but again it's something for the future we're, we're looking forward to but how much can you look forward to until it's too much so it's the same for gti 6 for example and they, they hit i would say the nail perfectly with the teaser and the trailers and such but the more people wait the less exciting it becomes until Yes, depending on how it gets announced, it can be hyped up, hyped up or maybe backfire on you. So, solo QRBG, if you take way too long on announcing anything about it or uh, to actually hit the trigger to test it out on a real rated environment, well, people are going to be disinterested, except if it's done like perfectly and you're having, having an announcement with a tournament or whatever, with an eSport kind of thing. With AWC, instead of AWC, it will be Battleground the World Championship or whatever, how it will be called. And you can then, like, build some hype behind it. But if it's literally saying, look, um, War Within, we get, like, Soul QRBG, uh, like, for real. I feel I think, like, it will be a dud, pretty much. So I, I would prefer them to actually say, look, we're going to test in 10.2.5 or 10.2.6 or 7 now. Since there is also a 6 so I don't know what they're going to do with the faded rates or if they are going to call it tempo three. Uh, we're soon January. So again, uh, the new year is there. So I we will have to see what's up with that and uh, it, what are the plans because they, they did give like a uh, roadmap, but nothing talked about for PvP except new season. So uh, hopefully we do get Solo QRBG uh, in that time frame. I think... The longer they wait, the worse it becomes. Um, right now, there are people, again, I, pr I talk with a lot of people. That they say, like, look, blah, blah, Battleground Blitz, if it counted for Vault, it could be something. But again, guys, at 10.2.5, Vault doesn't matter anymore. Like, it actually doesn't matter right now anymore, because now you can have the tier set pretty instantly now, with just with the converter. So you can have four piece without getting 1600 or lucky in the Vault. Uh, yes, having luck on the vault will progress your alts way faster, but let's be honest, right now I am fully geared, I just missed like for example the boots, wrist, the weapon, which to be honest I just missed bloody tokens for that, um, my double like trinkets, and this is an alt, this is not like really a main main, right, I, I, like I picked up druid way later in the season, and I already have all my pieces, so... The, the vault, what is it going to do for me? Most likely, I will just get the tokens. I will just have, like, um, like sockets that I need to fill for my belt, for example, or for my rings. So, people are going to say, look, Battleground Blitz, if it counts for vault, it will be more popular, which I think, personally, nobody really plays for vault anymore right now. At least it's way too late. If it was beginning of the season, then I would understand, but right now, this is not going to be a motivation. The motivation behind it would be either personal rating or better rewards. Like right now, you have like achievements. I don't know if I can show you guys. The achievements are really subpar. I think it's 
it's it's not good enough. I don't know if I, if I can if I can write it down like this. I don't know. If, those are all the background blitz, for example. Complete ten victories in background blitz uh, on this character. Um, participate in twenty five matches in background blitz. Those are like really little little rewards, man. So either they they give like something extra, for example, mount or title. Or I would say personal rating, or make it count like towards uh, I, I don't know end game rewards or what, like end season rewards, like something. But right now it is not counting towards nothing. Basically, it is just a brawl, which is quite nice for conquest. I, I try to do it like at least once on every character every week because it gives me a lot of conquest, especially on my alts. It's very nice to be able to farm conquest because then I just am not naked in Soul Shuffle. I, I am telling you guys to not go in green gear, so I'm also applying the same tips towards myself. There is no point in going uh, fully naked, I would say, compared to someone that is like fully decked out. Like you're going to have a disadvantage, and then it will only be skill that can maybe overtake it. But if skill is equal, gear is going to overtake it. So you have to play around your strength. And that's why I'm going to do brawls to get like conquests. But this is not enough. Like a lot of people are like already capped or they have already all the vaults or whatever. Or they don't need even gear anymore. They're just going to play for personal rating or for rewards. And I feel like right now Battleground Blitz is at a uh, turning point where they have to make a switch in their look. We tested Battleground Blitz, now we're going to pull the switch, it's going to, to count for MMR and CR, you're going to get some rewards, it is not going to count towards the traditional rewards, for example, because they're not going to say it's an off-season reward of, or, or an off-season uh, rated environment, but at least you have something like a number that you can work on and you can actually like perform. Right now, this is just a brawl and it doesn't really matter if you win or not. Like often all, all the rewards tied to brawls, like for example the quests, are just about completing one and not even going to win one. So again, I, I, I wish they'd just do something about it, talk about it. Uh, I feel like the less talk there is around Battleground Blitz, the worse it becomes for the player base in general. So that is actually looking forward for Battleground Blitz. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you're thinking in the comment section below because... I am like one of them that really got excited. I made like a lot of games on the PTR. I actually talked loads about. I made videos about, even tears about, because I felt felt like, look, I want to strike when the iron is hot. And personally, I found it like I'm still playing Battleground Blitz. I just enjoy it sometimes to just have the chaos, but also the the satisfaction of a battleground. I think battlegrounds are very fun. I think the objectives are very fun. Arenas is very fun as well. But sometimes you just want to play about like objectives. You don't want to play deathmatch all the time. So hopefully we get something. Hopefully uh, again, I, I want to be excited right now. I, like I feel like I forget about Soul RPG, which so I, I'm like a, a hobby content creator on YouTube. So I should not be forgetting about Soul RPG. I should be able to make content about it. But right now it feels like if I'm making content, who is going to be interested about Soul RPG, which is just a brawl, pretty pretty much. Also, they should just name the rename Battleground Blitz. I think it's a bad name, but that's my opinion. But anyways, let me know what you think about it in this comment section below. Like the video if you like the video. Again. You can uh, talk about Battleground Blitz or Soul RPG in the comment section below. I will always try to respond ASAP, but also just in general, if you want to discuss about it or give, get your feelings out about Soul RPG or Soul Shuffle, you can always do that and I'll try to uh, have a conversation with you. So again, I wish you guys the best. Again, have great holidays. Uh, it's new New Year very soon. So again, try to... Um, be healthy and we are going to progress in january and we will have way more news uh, for war within but also for dragonfight so if you want to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any pvp content uh tier lists guides um, discussion videos meta analysis videos everything be sure to subscribe so we can always check together with all these things again thank you for watching have a great day and be sure to stay safe we will catch you probably very soon in the next video. Have a great day.